assalamu alaikum welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so today's tutorial is on how to make this circle magic dress and if you just happen to stop up on this video welcome to my channel my name is bali keys and on this channel i make diy videos on modest ways so if that's the kind of content you're looking for do well to subscribe to my channel check out my other videos and don't forget to tap the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be working with 3 yards or 3 meter crepe fabric. And the dress size is small. So I'm actually using my measurement in this tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to take is my waist circumference. So my waist is 26. So I'm just going to go ahead and divide that by 3.14 to get my waist circumference. So I should have approximately 8 inches there. And then my gown length is 55 inches. So I'm just going to subtract my upper length from there, which is 15 inches. And I'm going to be left with 40 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 8 inches, my waist circumference to the 40 inches. So I'm going to have 48. So what I will do now to my fabric is that I'm going to fold 48 inches in two places. So I folded that already. So I have 48 inches or 122 centimeter. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to take the other edge and I'm going to form a triangle. So after forming a triangle, I'm going to insert my waist circumference, which is 8 inches. So I'll just go ahead and mark 8 inches or 20 centimeters. After which I'm going to form kind of like an hack with it then i'm going to mark my lower length of the dress which is 40 inches so from the 8 inches point i'll just go ahead and mark 40 inches so i'm going to mark it to the other edge of the fabric and i'm going to connect all the points After marking that, I'll just go ahead and start cutting. And I'm going to cut out that point also. So we have a lower piece already. So this is what we are going to have for the lower part of the dress. So when we open it up, we are going to have a, like a bigger flame. So the next thing we are going to cut is our upper piece. So for the upper piece, for clarity's sake, I'm going to be using brown paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 8 inches, my arm divided by 2, which is 8 inches or 20 centimeters. So I'm just going to connect all that points. After which I'm going to come down by 10 inches, which is my bust point. And that's because we are having a princess cut for the upper part. So that's 10 inches or 25 centimeter. So I'm just going to connect all that point also. So the next thing I'm going to insert is my shoulder measurement divided by two. So my shoulder is 15 inches divided by two. So that's 7.5 inches or 19 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and connect that. And I'm going to form a vertical line with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my bust divided by four. And then I'm going to be adding 2.5 inches allowance. Then I will go here and insert my waist divided by 4. Then I'm going to add 1 inch for that and then 2.5 inches for seam allowance. So I'm just going to connect the points. After which I'm going to form my arm O curve. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to be taking a basic neckline here, which is 3 inches by 3 inches, and then I'm going to connect it. So I'll just form my neck off, and then I'm going to take the shoulder slope, which is 1 inch or 2.5 centimeter. So I'll just connect that. Then for the dart, I'm going to be taking 4 inches or 10 centimeter. So after marking that at both edge. I'm going to make a vertical line. 
then at both edges of the four inches i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inches or one centimeter so i'm just going to connect it to my bust points after which i'm going to come to the arm o line and i'm going to take the midpoint there then at the midpoint i'm going to insert half an inch half an inch then i'm going to connect it to the line i already have here to form a curve if you already know how to form your normal basic princess curves you might just go straight and continue the video then i'm going to connect those two points also after which i'm just going to cut it out so i'll just cut this out and then I'm going to be placing it on my fabric to cut out my upper piece. So I'm just removing the tape that I used to hold the pattern paper down. So I'm just going to place the pattern on my fabric and then I'm going to trace it out. So we should have something like this after cutting. Then I'm not cutting out the neckline, so I'll be doing that later. So I'm just going to cut this out. So I'm not cutting the neckline. So after cutting the front piece out, I'm just going to place it on the fabric that I folded into two. And then I'm going to cut out the back piece, leaving my zip allowance of two inches. So I'll just go ahead and cut it out. Oh, hey, yeah. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to take the neck measurement. So for the neck width, I'm using 3 inches. And then for the back neckline, I'm using 4 inches. And then for the front, I'm using 5 inches. Then for the front, I formed a triangular neckline or a V neckline. So I'll just go ahead and shape that and then cut out. So I'll just go ahead and cut those two other two pieces for the back piece also. So after cutting the out, we have this for the front piece and then we have this for the back piece. So what I'm just going to do is I'll go ahead and join the pieces together. So I'll just go ahead and join them together. So after joining, we'll have something like this. So I just press down the same. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to cut out my neck taping since I'm not lining it. So I'll just go ahead and cut out my neck taping. Or if you don't want to use a neck taping, you can just hem the neckline, depending on what you want. But for this one, I'm going to be taping the neck with the fabric.
So after cutting the front neck taping, I'm just going to cut for the back also. And then for the back, I'm going to be cutting two pieces. For the two back pieces. So after marking the neckline, I'm just going to mark four inches there. That's the length I want the taping to be. And I'm going to connect all that points and then cut out. So after cutting one piece, I'll just go ahead and cut another piece for the second back piece. So after cutting the taping, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to place it right side facing each other and then I'm going to stitch it and use it to turn off the neck. So I'll do the same to the back piece, right side facing each other, then I'm going to stitch that part too. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So I'm done turning it, I'm done attaching the taping. So what I'm just going to do is I'll just go ahead and press it down with the pressing iron. And then we're going to be joining the back piece to the front piece. So after pressing it down, I have this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking half an inch from the front armhole, since the front armhole is always deeper. So I'll just go in by half an inch, and then I'm going to connect it and then cut out. After which I'm just going to open up my front piece and then I'm going to place my back piece right side facing each other. So after placing that, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to insert my measurement, that is my bust and my waist measurements. Then I will just go ahead and stitch the shoulder and then the sides. So after stitching, this is what we are going to have. On the right side, we are going to have this. So what I'm just going to do is, from the remaining fabric, I'm going to cut out my sleeve. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to fold the fabric in a diagonal line. Since we want to cut out a full sleeve. So I'm going to fold it in a diagonal line. Then the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to make a cover the down part. So I'll just go up by 3 inches. And then I'm going to cover it to the edge there. No. After which I'm just going to cut it out. So after cutting it out, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sleeve length. So my sleeve length is 22 inches. So I'm going to be adding one inch for M allowance. So that's 23 inches or 58 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and mark that. And then I'm going to connect it. Hey, yeah. Oh, 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 oh
So after cutting out one sleeve, I'm just going to use that to cut out my second sleeve. So I'm just going to place it on the other fabric and then I'm going to cut out. So I'm going to have this for both my sleeves. What I'll just do now is just to join their sides. Then this is just for me to confirm if I have my arm O. So I have my arm O. So it's going to fit perfectly to my dress. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my lower piece. And then I'm going to place the upper piece on it right side facing each other. So I'll just go ahead and join the two pieces together. After joining the two pieces together, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my zipper. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. After which I'm going to join the down part of my dress. And then I'm going to fix the sleeve. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. No. Then to fix the sleeve, you can just turn the dress to the wrong side and then place the sleeve in it, right side facing each other. So we just end it around that way. No. So I'm done joining the back part and then the sleeves. Then for my mini fabric, I cut out my waist belt. So it is about 60 inches by 4 inches or 152 centimeter by 10 centimeter. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to form my waist belt with it. And then I'm going to M the sleeve part and then the lower edge also. So this is the front part of the dress. So I hope you find this tutorial helpful. And I hope you learn one thing or another from it. So this is the final outcome of the tutorial please don't forget to like comment here and subscribe and if you have any question you can just drop it in the comment section so thank you so much for watching and i will see us in the next tutorial inshallah assalamu alaikum Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. No.